Welcome into the Oklahoma's Video Studio on this fine Friday morning slash heading into afternoon. Dave Morris here alongside my friends Christy Boone and uh, Spencer Hicks. Great to see you guys. Thanks you too. For us. How are Thanks things? For us. Things are really yeah. good. Yeah. You, you just got to see a movie. I got to see a movie. Forever. I've got kids, so I don't get out of the house much. Yeah. Went to see Baby Driver. How was it? Amazing. I've heard good reviews about it, but it's yeah. also one of those movies when you see it as a trailer, when you go and went to see something else, you're like, what is this movie? Do I, is it really drawing me in? I don't know that it is. However, it's getting great reviews. Yeah. I, well, I had not seen a preview. I had a friend who was, uh, I'm going to go see Baby Driver. Do you want to come? And uh, my wife was out of town, so I was like, yes. Yes, I do. I want to do something. I had no idea what it was fantastic. about. I went in completely blind and uh, was impressed. Yay. Oh, cool. So there you have it right off the top of this interview, uh, a movie review from Spencer. He Baby gives Driver. a thumbs up to Baby Driver. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so my friend Christy texts me a week or two ago. She's like, Dave, hey, can I come in and chat with you? Spencer and I have a show coming up at Fat Dog. I'd like to talk about it and let people be aware of that. And I didn't respond, so she sends me the, hey, Dave, kind of the throat-clearing text of, <clears throat> still here. <laughs> so welcome into the studio, guys. <laughs> you know, it's been months. I haven't seen you since the opening night stuff. Uh, in uh, Dead Center? Studio yes, stuff sure. For, uh, and then Dead Center oh, oh, and the kickoff. You're exactly yeah. right. Last, yeah. the end of last year, opening night. Yes. So we'll start again. there. How was that? How was opening night? Oh, my goodness. How was New Year's Eve? <laughs> New Year's <laughs> Let's catch up. Um, New Year's Eve was amazing. We had over 40,000 people out there. And overall, uh, the fundraising efforts, I think we cleared over $8,000 more than the year prior. And you're one of the co-chairs, mm -hmm. so congrats. Yes, Tyler Bolton and yep. I, who was on the show with me mm -hmm. here. And yeah, it was amazing. And the volunteers had a great time. The people had a wonderful time. All the performers felt really good about their crowds. And cool. um, yeah, it was just well attended. All right, very good. Well, that's just an example of some of the various things these two are involved with. <laughs> and they have paired the chocolate and peanut butter into something called <laughs> Hicks and Boonshine. <laughs> Yep, that's true. And what is Hicks and Boonshine, other than a clever name? It's uh, it's like a t late night. It follows the format of a late night talk yes. show, uh, where we'll have we'll have a musical guest, a special guest, and a comedian come on, and then Christy and I will play games with the crowds, uh, kind of like the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Gotcha. Um, Such as Dave, why are you wearing a tablecloth for a T-shirt or for a shirt? Or I mean, are you making fun of people? No. Oh no, 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 no absolutely. No, no. It's at games. our expense. Yeah. Yeah. We we don't really. <laughs> I, I actually like audience. your shirt. Your I didn't know. Is a great I didn't know if shirt. I, I was actually yeah. gonna wear a plaid shirt too. Right? Shirt. I wasn't. That was not on my. <laughs> Never occurred to you. No, <laughs> today. No, that's really. usually my improv stage attire is plaid. Really? It's, it, a Why lot is of that? times. I don't know. It's like a staple improv thing. You just wear plaid kind of shirts like, on like stage. A, yeah. Kind of like a comfort thing. You're gonna I guess so. Plaid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it hides everything. Uh, Hicks and moonshine. Hicks. Well, there's nothing to hide here. <laughs> what are you hiding, Dave right, Morris? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you the night of? Let's talk. Uh, Hicks and Boonshine, this yes. will be number four. Yep. So yes. why did you guys come up with, or how did you guys come up with this, and why did you decide to follow through? Well, we were already working together in a couple of different projects, and one of them was at Orange Days we had a monthly show that I was putting on that was comedy and yeah. music. And then uh, Spencer was about to be the anchor comedian for this year. And then we started talking, we are like, why don't we just do a live talk show? And I think the timing was really great, right? Yeah. Because the transition from Steven yeah, and Norman. There was a, yeah, a friend who had a, mm -hmm. kind of the same thing, late night talk show once a month at uh, Theopolis down in Norman. Oh, mm -hmm. cool. Um, so he was stopped, moving. So he moved. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. he he moved. So I was going to take over that, and then me and Chrissy got to talk, and I was like, "Well, why don't we just combine yeah. the two? Because I don't want to have to do." Yeah. Is there an online component to this? People can watch, or hey, you need to show up in live. In this person. month there will yeah. be. Oh, really? yeah. This will be the first month we've done that. Okay, yeah. so you test driving some Facebook Live or something? Mm -hmm. or? Facebook Live. Okay, yeah. I'm just guessing, but okay. Yes, you, you yep. nailed it. You okay, nailed good. it. You're so smart. That You're plaid hides so much smartness in there. It doesn't hide it. It's evident, by the way. I think he just got, he just earned an executive producer Ooh. credit for the Hicks and Boonshine show. Are you coming out to life? Well, Stream I apparently Netflix? should at this point. Yeah, do it. <laughs> well, anyway, so it's Wednesday, mm -hmm. August 2nd yes. at yep. Fat Dog over on uh, it's like class 12th and, and Western. 12th and Western. Mm -hmm. It's like right where Western and class and do that weird thing. Because I want to say the okay. address is actually 1212 Northwestern, mm -hmm. literally. Yes. So it's 12th and Western. Yes. Exactly. Our guests this week are. Your guest this, this next month will be? Month. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have Tyson Mead of Chainsaw Kittens, okay. who yeah. is fantastic energy. An amazing uh, musician. Musician. Um, he's, got, he's got an EP coming out. He does, and he's, he's really excited some, about he's that. He's working on some soundtracks for movies. Very true. Uh, I got to hear one of them. Did, was uh, it good? One, it was amazing. Okay. It's very cool. 
Um, and then uh, he, Chase Kirby also will be Chase there, right? will be our Chase musician. Will be the musician. Um, but I also we have to give Tyson laugh credits now every time. So Tyson is the resident uh, laughter Does supplier he's a, he's as well. Laugh. Okay. He's a great laugh contagious anything. laugh. Yeah, anything. He's very is it, supportive. Is it a laugh that just cuts through. You're like, ooh, Tyson's here. You know. No, it's a laugh that makes you want to also join him okay. in laughter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it ranges from very um, supportive to diabolical, so it's a really fun range, very quickly. <laughs> I yeah. never, I never, you're right. Yeah, it is so true. Yeah, he loves it, yeah. too. He's into it. He shares it openly. It's wonderful. Uh, but yes, Chase also is our musician. Our musician. And our comedian is going to be Josh Lathy, yes. uh, who is a hardworking comedian here yeah. in Oklahoma City. He's been working his tail off, traveling around. And he's going to be opening for Eugene Merman. That's right. Uh, I forgot about that up at the Blue World Comedy Festival next month in Tulsa. Yes. Very cool. And then he also is hosting a show with Brad Chad, uh, the, the, yeah, wrestling, the, roast battle. the Roast Battle, yes. And that will be at BZD's. Yep. And that is upcoming right. this weekend, right? Is that this weekend? You can find that on Facebook. It possibly yeah, could be this Facebook. weekend, right? <laughs> just, just look up Comedy Fight League. You'll, yeah, you'll find actually it. it's the 27th. So that sounds it's right. next Thursday. I think it's next Thursday. That sounds right. I'm just trying to follow along at this point. <laughs> comedy Fight League. Do you actually talk about Comedy Fight League, or is that rule number one that you don't talk about Comedy no, Fight League? No, we try to get it, talk about it as much as you as want. Often as possible. I'm not yeah. allowed. Yeah. Yeah. The women aren't allowed to talk about it. I'm just kidding. Oh, That's not true. It's not true. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> so Hicks and Boonshine will be Wednesday, August 2nd, over at Fat Dog on, um, on Western. Um, let's start with you, Christy. What else are you involved with these days? I'm still just doing improv shows. We have a cool. show tonight at Paramount on Film Row, and I was Will you be wearing plaid? Into, <laughs> I won't tonight. Not I tonight. don't think so. Okay. No, I think I'm going to be a rebel tonight. Uh, sometimes I even wear dresses. Uh. Um, yeah, and uh, Bit Sing, we have an all-musical uh, improv show called Bit Sing, and we perform August 4th also at Paramount on Film Row under OKC Improv, and we have a full band ensemble and everything. It's really great. It's a fun time. Last time I saw you was uh, one of the opening parties for Dead Sing. Oh, yeah. So, segueing out of that, you were in a film that was <laughs> yes. aired, played, screened at Dead Center called Gremlin. Yes. So, we had our, um, our initial premiere was in the Philippines at the beginning of this year in January. So, we premiered in the Philippines. It's called Gremlin. Cool. Not Gremlins, but Gremlin. And it's about a creature, a mystical creature that's kind of a god trapped in a box. And then it just goes and wreaks havoc on all these people. And you have to give the box to somebody you love. It's really interesting. But it's really more like a family drama layered with this creepy creature happening. Um, so, we released in the Philippines. Then we released in Malaysia. And then our US premiere was at Dead Center. And now we're online on Amazon and Vudu. You can cool. stream us, yeah, download us and For watch how us. How many, how many dollars is that going to uh, cost? I believe it's three ninety nine on Amazon uh, to rent. It's a bit steep. Spencer, you're my friend. You're supposed to be supportive. Is that the tipping point for you, Spencer? <laughs> yeah. no. It's beyond $2.50? I don't know. I would, say, I would say it's a value at twice the price. Oh. Aww. <laughs> That's funny. All right. <laughs> it is twice the price if you want to own it. Huh. Uh, you can download it and own it. Uh, you can rent or own it. But so. once is probably enough, right? I feel like <laughs> uh, but it was Boiling Point Media and the Six Stitches Entertainment guys who also did Army of Frankensteins and they're working on Jurassic Games as well. That's right. And that will release next year, so it's really exciting. They're an amazing team and well, they're, I heard great they were fun to work with. Well, I heard great things about Gremlin. It had good buzz at Dead Center, so cool. congratulations Thanks. on that. Any other films Thanks. you're working on or No, I'm helping at? with um, NGP is a video, mm -hmm. or not a video, but um, a film kind of equipment production company and there's an upcoming workshop August 4th and 5th. I think they're going to come talk with you. I believe so. Um, and then I'm, I'll do a role in that and to, for the training stuff which will be really fun. I'm excited. Those guys are pretty cool. So. Spencer, what are you up to these days? I'm still working with OKC Comedy. Um, we've got uh, there's a weird demographic of former. <laughs> it's like you're debating what should I'm I like, say? What this point? Former professional professional wrestlers who tran transfer over to stand up comedy. They're not true stand up comics, uh, but they go on tour like stand up comics and basically just tell stories of about like the day. And they've got a huge following, and it's crazy to me. So you're telling me there's not one, not two. There's a group of there's, former wrestlers. Yeah. Who are segueing into comedy stage performers. Correct. Uh, so we've got uh, Hacksaw Jim uh, <laughs> Duggan coming up, who is... Uh, oh, I totally the, remember him. He had the, like the two by four yeah. when he was... Yeah, what? From the yeah. 80s, yes. uh, early 90s. He's going to be coming to town telling his stories <laughs> of uh, concussions and... Uh, and how did you hook up with these guys? Uh, their agents reach out to us. Like, uh, sometimes... 
when we get comedians we want, their agents would be like, yeah, we'll send that guy this way. Cool. But you got to take Hacksaw Jim Day later <laughs> in the year. <laughs> He comes with a very large comedian <laughs> named Hacksaw. Hacksaw. Yes. Yeah. So uh, that's a show we got coming up. Uh, visit, yeah. visit OKCcomedy.com to find yes. out uh, dates, ticket prices, all that good stuff. Okay. Uh, and where can we see you, find you, your material? Um, I don't know. I've kind of, uh, these two kids have kind of slowed me down. So I usually do like the Looney Bin Comedy Club out there on Northwest Expressway in Rockwell. Um, you can find me out there or at the OKC Comedy Shows. How's family life? It's fantastic. Yeah? How yeah. old are the kiddos? We've got a three-year-old and a one-year-old. Oh, well, you do have your hands full. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And they're both really adorable. I bet, yeah. <laughs> well, very right, cool. Right now. Right. The, the third well, thing me, puberty is going right. to be real tough. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then on, uh, also, you still have your album. I mean, people can still download yeah, your if you comedy listen, album and stuff. You can yeah. listen to it on Spotify, which is free, yeah. or you can buy it on iTunes. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Congrats on the family. Congrats on you. everything you're involved Thanks. with. Uh, Hicks and Boonshine coming up uh, Wednesday, August 2nd over at Fat Dog. Tyson Mead of the Chainsaw Kittens. Uh, Chase Kirby, Josh Lathy. Lathy. Yes. All right, all those on the agenda that night. Guys, great to see you. Thanks Thank for your time. You. Thank you Appreciate so much. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.